You're listening to the Nerd to Know Media Network. Join us at nerdtoknowmedia.com. Broadcasting from the Blanchestan Center. This is Phoenix FM. The internet is a communications tool. Use the world over where people can come together to pitch bad movies and share bad. According to the Nerd Index, you should be upside down in a junior high toilet around the clock. This is the Nerd One. The Nerd One. Tag is in, tag is out. Never miss communication. It's over nine thousand. My name is Foxy. The balls are in there. Hello and welcome to this week's installment of Nerd to Know Basis on Phoenix 92.5 FM. And this week is a special uh, episode because we have a birthday week. Hi. <laughs> So who, who have we got this week, guys? Birthdays. Uh, birthdays. So my, bir- <laughs> so my birthday first and then Keen's birthday. But here's the thing. When this show goes out, it's like Schrodinger's Schro- 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 birthday, where it's my birthday and Keen's birthday at the same time, but also neither. <laughs> and it's my own birthday. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Little will the people listening at home know, Katie is actually dressed like the Mad Hatter right now. Always. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just my pajamas. Like, I don't even own proper pajamas. It's just a Mad Hatter costume. I would be upset <laughs> if that wasn't true. <laughs> and it's funny, as you guys are mentioning, it, I'm actually installing uh, Alice Madness Returns. That is not a joke. That is actually oh, true. So, so good. It's so good. Uh, trying to get it so run on the good. trying to get it running on the Steam Deck is uh, quite difficult when you're on Origin because Origin is very frustrating. So I Origin mean, is great. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. We <laughs> love Origin. We do. I've spent a lot of time on Origin this week and last week because I've gotten back into The Sims 4 lately. Uh, that, but yeah, Origin's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, the thing about it is like, I could just buy Madness Returns, but I got it for free on Origin. So I'm like... Oh, I have that too, actually. And I can't run it on my laptop because my laptop only runs The Sims and nothing else. <laughs> It knows its job. <laughs> it do, well, do you know what? This is what I do. And you're going to you're going to like cringe up inside yourself and die when I tell you this. But whenever I need a new laptop, which is like once every 10 or 12 years, I will go into, you know, like uh, wherever they sell laptops. And my only question is, will it run The Sims? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I am so your drinking no game at home mind. is every time you hear the word Sims or Origin. Katie, yeah. k- will you please? And this goes out to anybody. <laughs> Right. If anyone's buying a laptop, anyone listening right now, email nerdtonomedia at gmail.com. I will consult for you so you but so that doesn't happen. Please, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even lying. Like the last two or three laptops I've bought, I've gone in and the guy's telling me all the specs, and I'm just like, Yeah, yeah, that's great. Will it run the Sims? And Sims if you need <laughs> Sims consultation, email us at the same address. We'll hook you up with Katie. Yeah. I just I I just don't think it's the it's the best way. To- <laughs> I've fun. never had any issues with it, man. I know, but it's just a... <sighs> it's you know what she might be onto something though, because if a laptop is powerful enough to run the Sims, presumably it could do everything else. That's not no. the point. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a barometer for just a it minute. might be though. No, I mean, there must be some game that needs a little bit of every single processing package. So no, uh... like my 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 you know, my gold standard is just like if it will run The Sims with minimum graphics, minimum requirements. Like I'm good. <laughs> oh, I'm such a filthy casual. I love I'm, it. I'm so. Yeah, you upset. can get The Sims I'm, on. I'm so not upset computers. by this. I'm so upset by this. <laughs> it's the worst birthday ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I ruined okay. your birthday. It's okay. I also forgot. Also, I don't think it actually got mentioned. <laughs> it's Kean and Dara who are on, by the way. Yes. Oh, yes. Ahoy. And Katie. 
<laughs> we kind of skipped that part. This is what happens when I drive the bus. <laughs> right off a cliff. <laughs> in a good way, though. In, in my defense, way. I've never done this before in the like three years that I've been with you. And you, you never see. will again. <laughs> you never will again. <laughs> Until you start figuring out how to spec computers properly, damn it. <laughs> um, never no, gonna I... happen. <laughs> No, I mean, it, it's funny because um, on for listeners of Phoenix FM, like if people are listening to this show there, they're used to listening to Katie because we haven't done a, a show in a while like th- that went down on the radio. And so Katie's like been driving this bus for like three weeks now. Oh, yeah. The, it's the, great. It's, I think those shows are great. I mean, they they are just completely different to what we do here because the structure that makes sense and are good. Um <laughs> They're not just nonsense. Uh, yeah, to- totally structured. I know, it's and, got artists on it. It's a little not bit just, uh, It's definitely not just me, like, writing a script and bullet points. No, nope, no way. No way. It's, <laughs> it's all straight, straight from the straight from the hip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <I'm> so no. <laughs> good. <laughs> Folks, and if you haven't been listening, uh, you can go with the nerd to know and actually get all the shows there because we don't charge for anything. It's all there for free. Um, so go check them out because there's what four hundred. There's a ridiculous amount of shows now. We have. We're just morning, doing so. it for the exposure. That's it. Or, or or money. Oh yeah, we like money too. Like money's we good do. too. I know? think you're yeah. mixing your message a little bit. Nah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> like like if I was listening at home, I'd be like reaching into my wallet, confused. <laughs> hey, do you're you still reaching. Exposure or <laughs> so do you want money? Do you want me to listen or go I mean, there? We, we do it for the exposure, but money is always a nice bonus. Yes, that's true. I mean, it's not quite as catchy a title. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think if I do bring the show back, I'm probably going to change the name to like purely for the paycheck. <laughs> and then it's and then it's is there problem. is there like a radio equivalent of like what's that thing? OnlyFans. That's like the ones behind the paywall, and doing it for the exposure is the free one. <laughs> I, I I will remind you we're on at five o'clock in in the day. We're on at five. <laughs> Sorry, only hands. The one about hands moment. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was funny. So it, with the band, that was a joke we had that we we're going to do a, a horrendous only fans called Only Hands, where it's just us eating like crisps. Yeah, that'd be great. Actually. <laughs> Just I'm like, sure there's a market for it. There, there has, there has I mean, to be. There's a market for it. Rule 34. Again, we're on a we're on a we're on a thing. But Rule 34, of course. Um, you guys can Google that. We're not going to talk about what that is. We get away with one. It's a double birthday. That's it. Double birthday. Technically, please we double. get away with two. We've one more to spare. Use it wisely. <laughs> please double <don't> birthday. Kick... <laughs> double, please don't kick us off on our birthday. That'd be sad. <laughs> 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 uh, anyway. All right. Maybe we should get some topics. Uh, we got loads of topics. They were just horrendous ones. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Let's 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 go into the deep end. I believe you had a tragic one to lead with there, Katie. Consider we're talking about artists and all that kind of stuff. That's oh, segue. why would you put that on me? Because you told us. <laughs> it's true. We oh. did. He oh, now I it. have to be the bad guy. You told us. Yes, did. you're driving the bus. All right. Okay. Yes. This is the I... responsibility. I'm going to be the bad guy and please nobody at me on Twitter because I forgot my login and I can't see them anyway. <laughs> we just to... shut that comment down that well. Yeah. So we got the unfortunate news um, recently that the rapper Coolio has passed. Oh, no. Yeah. Yes. yes. No more gangster paradise for him. No, he, he well, he's in gangster's paradise now, I'm assuming. Yeah, but I only thought you got that if you died in battle like Valhalla. Um, I don't know. I feel like if you manage to make it into your 50s as a rapper, like, you know, it's you've kind of earned Valhalla, haven't he, you? Yeah, he did. He did well for he was almost 60. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to call an audible here. Like, I I, 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 I agree with you guys. Like, I, I get it. But I mean, it's kind of like, you know, a bit in Love and Thunder where uh, what was it? Lady Sif's hand goes to Valhalla, but she doesn't. Well, okay. I know. No, I, like, I take it's... umbrage. I take umbrage with that movie anyway because <laughs> you know the whole Jane Foster thing going to Valhalla. She didn't die in battle. Kinda though. She no, kinda she died. Died no, in... she died after oh, the battle. Oh, spoilers, by the way. Uh, she spoilers. died in ideological debate about parenthood, which died... I would count as a battle. I'm sorry. She died after the battle, which is what Thor lectured Lady Sif on not doing. Hmm. I don't think Thor lectured her. I think he was just like, kind of like, oh, the hand might be there. Anyway, what's this got to do with Coolio? 
<laughs> we went on a tangent. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, yes, Coolio. Yes, uh, un- unfortunate passing from what appears to be a heart attack. Yeah, that, I, it's it's crazy because I mean, like he wasn't old. You know, he was like that's that's very very young. Yeah, and it's very similar. It's kind of like um, what's the guy's name? Taylor Hawkins died as well from a heart yeah. attack. Um, it's weird. It's just like a lot of these um high profile artists are just dying. Yeah, out of nowhere, you know. Um, but look, I think his legacy again for everybody is going to be Keenan and Kel and Gangster oh, Paradise. I forgot that was. I, him. I have I have seen a lot of Keenan and Kel references popping up today. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I and again when that popped up, I was like, oh, what's going on? And then obviously the rest of the news happened, but uh. Here's the thing. So I did a bit, I did a bit of research because, you know, I'm professional and um, mm. I was like, Keen's like, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> no, no. I'm like, just where is this going? I, well, I wanted because. All right. So as I said, he was most famous for Keen and Nikhil, right? But he wasn't only again, like I, I except for Gangster's Paradise. That's the only I was about to I say, yeah, if you right? leave that one out, I think he might get upset with you from Gangster's Paradise. No, fair, but I mean, I think that's the only song that I can actually name from him. Right. But his cultural impact is actually wild, right? Because in the nineties, he was everywhere, right? So I was gonna say, I was gonna like just throw some out, uh, throw some, throw some, uh, some titles out here, right? Mm-hmm. Batman and Robin. Mm-hmm. What? Right? Yeah. Lepin, Leprechaun in the Hood. Oh, Lep in the Hood. That Lep was in the hood. awful. It's brilliant, though. I really enjoy Lep in the Hood. He was in Daredevil. The Which OG one? one? The Daredevil, the director's cut version. Really? I've been trying to track down a copy of that for ages. It's brilliant. It's really good. I, I would totally recommend it. Oh. Um, he's also in Futurama. And As Futurama. I've just discovered, he's the Kwanzaa bot. Yeah. He is. Um, he And then on TV, so they're all like the biggies that people know from movies. On TV, though, Keenan and Kel, obviously. He was mm-hmm. in The Nanny. Fear, Fact- Fear Factor. Futurama again. Static Shock. Oh, I uh, love Static Shock. Static Shock is great. He was in Joey. That ill-fated uh, TV show that... I mean, it was happened. bad, but I watched it. Like and everyone then, else. And also, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean... And that's just some of it. Like, there were other ones like... Yeah, uh, there's Gravity Falls there. Gravity Falls, VIP, Malcolm and Eddie... Um, right, the like, song he also is, like it's in his music video. Like, Michelle Pfeiffer was in the music video with him. Like, it's well, like it's, he's lived a life. Well, it's kind of creepy because she's the one who found him. Oh, so I mean, you what know, do you mean? that's who found him dead was Michelle oh, Pfeiffer. I did not know that. Yeah, oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. So, I, I thought you were making a, a clever link there, but no, uh, no, 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 that's just. Cosmic weirdness. Yeah, it is. It's it's strange. The whole thing is is it's bizarre. But I mean, it, his career is you know. <laughs> so when people call him a rapper, I'm like, really though. You know, because well, I mean, yeah, because he raps. But I don't think so. I mean, I would know Coolio more for what I've said there. Like again, he's in Keenan and Kel, and the opening Keenan and Kel, and you're like, oh, there he is. There's Coolio, you know. And then they make references to him a lot. In, yeah, but he's uh, not. Yeah, but he wasn't like an actor actor he was playing coolio like you no, know, it's like on, it's like your legacy sec- thing like, hold on know. a second hold on a second that is not true in batman and robin he played the scarecrow this i didn't know yeah he played jonathan crane like all the time well in batman and robin he's only in it for like a second but his official credited role is jonathan crane who's the oh scarecrow. i see when you say batman and robin you mean the joel schumacher one not yes. the animated series yes 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 where the hell the heck is Scarecrow in that one? He's not. He's credited as the banker, but that's the role he got, apparently. So this is some deep dive. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. See, I assumed that he was like maybe voiced the character once on the animated series. No, 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 no. This is the Joel Schumacher. This is a like peak 1997. Right, right. Okay. That movie keeps getting weirder and weirder. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's just um, mid 90s. I think you're always going to have, he's going to, you're going to hold him up as someone who you're like, yeah. That was when he was, you know, Amish Paradise came out in 2000, sorry, in 1995. Mm. Went number one everywhere, including Ireland. And the Amish UK. Paradise. Uh, I, I didn't want to step in, but yeah. 
Did I say Amish Paradise? You said Amish Paradise. Sorry, I said I oh, sorry. Gangsters Paradise. Amish Paradise is a phenomenal parody. parody. Yeah, weird yeah. so because the, the article I'm reading here actually has the two right together. So I apologize. Um, <laughs> and Gangsters Paradise in 1996 won a Grammy for best rap solo performance. It was a good song. It was. Good it song. still is, but like. And Amish it, Paradise it was, is also yeah. a good song, though. To be fair. Oh yeah, it I, just. I will, I will it just has like this kind of gravitas to it, like. Mm. Here, I actually I put the because uh, I do like oh, sorry, hold shows on, and hold that on, kind hold of on, stuff. Hold on, one second, one second. Space Jam. Space Jam. He was featured on the soundtrack for Space Jam. Of course. Sorry, oh. that was the one thing that I forgot, and I'm like, ah, oh, of course. How could you forget Space Jam? Well, I mean, the sequel came out, and that made me forget. That made me want to drink so much, I forget lots of things. <laughs> um, but the, the OG one, he was uh, in it a lot. So there we go. Oh my goodness! Okay, well, should we move on to like kind of less morbid things? I do appreciate I did bring it up, but um, I'll tell you what. Then I think the other big news that uh, our host of this week was excited about was a certain. Ryan Reynolds revelation. We might as well do that next. Oh, so, yeah. Katie, I feel like you're the only one who can bring the excitement on this. Oh, my goodness. I, oh, my goodness. That's, ah. that's what I was looking for. Yeah. There we go. I can feel <laughs> the excitement. Can, can you're you beaming. hear her foaming at the mouth? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, but even the way it was announced was just peak. Yeah. Like it was just perfect. Now, Perfecto. what was announced? So we got the news this week that uh, Ryan Reynolds is doing a third Deadpool movie and he has roped in Hugh Jackman to reprise his role as Wolverine. Ooh. Which is very exciting. And how was this announced? So the way they announced it was was basically he posted up a video on social media um, that was him apologizing for missing D23, which is the big Disney convention where they announce all the stuff that's happening. Mm. Um, and he was, you know, basically just saying that he was working really, really hard on Deadpool 3 to make it like the best movie ever. And we got some really nice shots of him, you know, sitting on the toilet in his Deadpool suit and like filling a mug to the brim with aviator gin, which I thought was a nice plug. <laughs> um, I just and, assume that's how he drinks it. I mean, you guys have seen I mean, me drink. Yeah. You like guys he, have seen me drink in Rome, and that's how I do it. But like, he must get just like, you know, lifetime supply of the stuff, and so when he's drinking it, he has to drink it. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave that stuff sitting around. No. Um. So yeah. So basically, he just you know he was trying to make the best Deadpool movie ever and have all the right jokes and the right tone and everything. Um. And then he just says, "Well, I couldn't come up with anything." So. <laughs> So Hugh Jackman is just going to be in it. And um, if you haven't seen the announcement, go and watch it because it is just so much fun. I love um, I love how they drop it where he just, he's like, hey, Hugh Jackman is in it. And then he walks by and he goes, hey, Hugh, you want to be Wolverine one more time? <laughs> he goes, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure, right. Was it even him? It was just like yeah, no, no, it legs was, it on was steps. Him. Yeah, it, no, it was him because... Um, a little while later, they came out with another video where it's like the two of them sitting right. on a couch and they're talking about, you know, um, because obviously fans were asking, like, how does how's this going to work if Wolverine, you know, spoiler alert, dies at the end of Logan? And oh, yeah. But even stuff. but even Logan was way in the future. You know? Yeah, well, that, that's what they were saying. They're saying that, like, because Logan takes place in 2029. Mm. Um, so they're, it's obviously it's going to Deadpool 3 will happen sometime before that. Which means the Marvel Universe has a depressing seven-year end point now. Well, not necessarily. I mean... That's just mutants, though. There, that's there mutants, are still yeah. other heroes. That, the, yeah. But also, the thing, the thing to take away from this as well, it's what probably will happen, and I'm going to could be totally wrong here, but I was kind of just doing a bit of research on this, again, because I'm a professional. And... Uh, <laughs> And I was like, if you keep okay. saying it, I'm going to keep laughing. Would you ever stop? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I mean, I was, um, so I was kind of like, okay, how would this work? And what will probably happen is at the end of Deadpool 2, you see him jumping around, fixing mm-hmm. timelines, right? So we know right. he can do that. Because yeah. that's at the end of Deadpool 2. Exactly, yeah. right? And even though it was a joke, it's also kind of not because he did do it. Like he jumped around not only the entire Fox 
multiverse, but jumped into the real world, you know, killed Hitler and, and other things. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, so what, he, you think he may have accidentally jumped into the MCU? No, he probably me? will. Oh, yeah. OK. What I what I'd imagine is going to happen is he's going to jump. He's so he, he's going to end up with Wolverine at some point doing mm. something. They're going to fight and then they will jump accidentally into the MCU or they'll have their own little adventure somewhere doing something and then he'll end up being stuck in the MCU. Yeah, well, they did. Didn't they announce a while ago that Deadpool was going to join yes. the MCU? He's officially in the MCU. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, this is probably how. How they're going to do it. I mean, with um, like so. a character who breaks the fourth wall anyway, like he could just wander into it and they could have a throwaway line and be like, eh, whatever, you know? Like, yeah, well, that's, that's if, what they're going to do. Like, that's if exactly him and She Hulk yeah. ever meet, like, the TVs will just explode. I, I was actually going to say, breaking. I was actually going to say, I saw a really nice post there. I think it was today. Mm. And uh, it was a span, a span, a fan speculating about how Deadpool will probably just walk through the broken fourth wall from She Hulk. Mm. <laughs> ah, clever. <laughs> yeah, I, there, there, could, there could really be any, any number of things that they yeah. do. Miss Marvel set up mutants as well. I mean, I know mutants, if you can't, Angels of S.H.I.E.L.D. have been around for ages, but yeah, the first word, your use of the word mutant was in Miss Marvel a few yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. Like, I, it, it, it's, definitely, it's definitely exciting. It's, uh, it, it got me, like, I wasn't expecting it. I was at um, Behemoth there during on Tuesday night, and on the bus home, that's when it broke. So it broke about, what, half 11 Irish time? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it just broke the internet. But like, it's great that they did it because like, I I know they've they've set this up for a long time, and it's just a, it, it's it's a credit to Ryan Reynolds in general to being able to pull this off, but also to Hugh Jackman who just you know seems the gas crack, and he's yeah. kind of done everything now at this point. And this would probably be the only time that he can that they can actually do this because they haven't brought in Wolverine yet, so it doesn't really doesn't really matter if he's in it or not you know as yeah. far as like if if they kill him off or whatever like they did in um what's that movie called logan no the 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 one with the the witches sorry the, what doctor the strange movie with the witches. no doctor strange 2 so oh you know, i see the, 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 the way they killed off um patrick stewart Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Because it doesn't matter. Like it's 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 a multiverse thing. So it's so, not the main universe as Wolverine. Yeah, okay, so, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. So, so like it's the same with the way they they, they killed off um Mister Fantastic and they killed all the killer. Like, that doesn't matter because it's not that universe. It's not the it's still the MCU, but it's mm. not that universe. And we are building towards Secret Wars. We are building towards the Scroll Invasion. So I mean, the thing about it is you can also be like he's a scroll. There's all the things yeah. they can do. But Armor seems... Wars too is is coming up. It is. I mean, they may keep them though because they're reforming potentially the Avengers. And Wolverine was one of the new Avengers when they reformed. Yeah, but he is he's getting fierce old man. He just doesn't want to do it anymore. Like, like I would love him to be in it. I I don't I think having an older Wolverine is an is an inspired choice to be honest mm. with you. But I, mean, I don't know. I mean, like if they're gonna recast it. I've heard like lots of support behind the the Kingsman guy, Taron yeah. Egerton. Yeah, yeah, but if if they're gonna bring in a new Wolverine, I would hope that they would bring in you know someone like Dakin rather than yeah Dakin just recast cool. Wolverine. Yeah, you know, Dakin like actually do show. like uh, kind of the next generation of mutants. Like the, it, actually, that's a really good option. So look, so anyone who does know Dakin is Wolverine's not son but clone. He is a clone, right? He's not a son. Um, okay. I'm I'm not sure. I heard son, but it it could be either or. Yeah, they they use them interchangeably. It's it's like a Damian Wayne situ- situation where he is a son, but he's not his like. I don't think he got jiggy with anyone. Spiritually, think... his son, but no, like no, phone, like, no, like, 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 like 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 X twenty three. Yeah, but less so. I mean, Damian literally is his son, but he didn't know about it because um, Talia just took his bits and and made a clone. Right. Um, that made a um, Okay, so Google is telling me that Dakin is the mutant son of Wolverine and his deceased wife Itsu. Oh, so they did get jiggy. Okay, right. Oh, uh, that's right. our second on a five. There, thanks everyone. <laughs> we can all go home now. There we go. <laughs> Roll credits. Roll credits. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your birthday treat. There. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just assumed it was a clone, but obviously it's not there. It was made the old fashioned way. Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> it was a, no, nothing makes it handmade. better. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, like, here's the thing, right? If they do that, that would be much cooler because you have you have a new starting off point and mm-hmm. it's a clean break. I, like, I'm not a huge fan of these recastings. I, I think all the Wolverine stuff has been done. Yeah. And all the X-Men stuff has kind of been done. But bringing them in as legacy characters is a good idea because, you know, they can do things and tell stories. But if you have the next generation where it's like Daka and X-23... Um, Nightcrawler and like younger based mutants that's a cool story in and of itself because they can go off and you can have the school but then you can have your Wolverine cake too have him there for a little bit and then he dies in Logan or he gets zapped out like or you know I'm just glad it's going to be a little bit more uh, comprehensive than Tom Hardy's soiree into the MCU which was very upsetting <laughs> what, what Venom yeah, he was just there. He get he got drunk and then zapped out again. I thought that was well. Yeah, but he left a bit of venom behind though, so that you know it could happen. It could, but it, but see, to me, that's even worse because it just means that the two venom movies you've watched relative to the MCU are now pointless. Yeah, but they're always not pointless. even going to be their venom. But they were always pointless. The only one who didn't know, believe they were pointless was pretend only. they weren't before. You know. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I I don't know. I'm. I think this is pro- this had to be done. You know, it didn't have to be done. I mean, but the only way they were going to be able to do this was to kind of do it this way, where they're like, right, we need to actually, um, we need to actually uh, dig in and do this now before they do the whole multiverse or wrap up. Because we're still smack bang in the middle of it, and I don't think it's going to run until when's the new Avengers out? Twenty twenty four. Yeah, well, they've, they've kind of really, they've given the release dates for phases five and six. So Deadpool right. is 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 slated at the minute for September twenty four as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's still more than enough time for them to do whatever they're going to do, and it, it could be like it could be like there's not the Avengers are officially broken up as well. That came out a couple of weeks ago, so there are no Avengers at the moment. Mm-hmm. Apart from um, the two Avengers movies that are slated to come out. Well, the see, they haven't assembled. They're broken up officially, so the Avengers haven't come together yet. We don't know who's in the Avenger team. Oh, I know, but that's what I'm saying though. Like phase five is gonna be Secret Wars and Thunderbolts and all this yeah. like, you know, kind of by Marvel standards, gr- morally gray intrigue stuff. And then phase six is gonna be like the nonsense again with Kang and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> the nonsense. Well, no, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you've got your Captain America, like Ed Brubacher, like introspection on the world stuff, and then mm-hmm. you've Thor getting drunk on a cloud with Hercules. There's there's two modes to Marvel, you know. Yeah, and I, I don't know, it's valid, but you know, I did watch a a ten hour video on why Doctor Strange two was terrible. How dare you? I know. I disagree. Well, I mean, that's the meme, isn't it? Like you know, watching a two hour film is too long. Watching a ten hour essay on why a two hour film is bad, that's fine. You know. (laughs) To be fair, it, it it did break down a lot of points, and I'm. I think I was uh, I think I was hoodwinked um, with, with the video the first time or the, the uh, movie first time. I don't know it's just after 10 hours or maybe that's just the condition where it's just your you know you have like a, Stockholm Syndrome your Stockholm Syndrome <laughs> or you're just convinced you're like oh yeah maybe it wasn't that bad um, I don't know I just kind of feel like the movie wasn't as good as we made it out to be or thought it was on on, on deeper examination I can well, I can I can see where you're coming from. Sorry, Katie, I'll be very quick. But Mm -hmm. um, it's, um, I actually, again, I said this before on the show, my worry was that it would be a big Marvel crossover event disguised as a Doctor Strange movie. And we got a Doctor Strange movie. And it, I actually really, really liked it for that. It was a nice little integration of the Disney Plus stuff. It was like, it had an arc. It was all about Doctor Strange's like mm-hmm. superior nature and how he decides things and like that automatically makes it the best. It ties in Infinity War and stuff. I thought it was a solid character piece. And I was only annoyed when like the MCU stuff got in the way, which is why I'm glad they killed all that stuff pretty quickly, you know? Justice for John Krasinski. Well, he may come back. Oh, no, he, he's definitely coming back. They have him on contract and hit him and Emily Blunt as well. Really? When did they announce that? Um, 
a while ago, I think. I, I did not hear that. Yeah, well, now, again, I could be wrong, but this this is just what I've heard kind of through the grapevine. I mean, I hope so, because like it felt like watching it, it felt like they were kind of hedging their bets by casting him. And if it didn't go down well, they can say, oh, well, it's a multiversal one. Who oh, cares? well, hang on. You know. well, let me see. Google, again, is saying Fantastic Four coming out in 2024. Mm. Um. So... There's not much news yeah. from it. But... See, I don't trust the internet because right up until before the trailer for She-Hulk comes out, there were contradictory accounts of how Titania such and such was She-Hulk and also interviews saying I am her saying I am not She-Hulk. And these were bouncing back and forth with no real logic to them, you know? Well, yeah, but then you have like in the last episode of She-Hulk, you had Titania uh, copywriting the name She-Hulk and using it. No, I meant the actor playing. Um, oh, She-Hulk. Jamila not, Jamil, not the character. Do you mean Jamila Jamil? No, I'm talking about the actor who plays She Hulk. Her name is Titania ah. something. Oh, yeah, Tatiana Maslany. Tatiana, sorry. Oh my God, we need more names. <laughs> <laughs> and I say that as an Irish um, person. That's true. Okay, it's, just yeah. a quick Google search now. Again, this is uh, no, that's fan fiction. It looks like. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but it was the first thing that came up on Google. You know, it has John Krasinski, Emily Blunt, Zac Efron, Jai Courtney, which I know. What? I no, no, no John, not, not so Jai Courtney. No, not Jai Courtney. There's Courtney. an no actor way. called Tatiana, and she goes up against a character called Titania. How yes. Is, how is that not confusing? Well, because she plays Jen Walters, so she's not Tatiana in the show. Well, we don't just call her Jen Waters. No, because once the uh, and once the, oh, this is you and your ten hour essays. Look what you've landed. Just call her Shulk. 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 <laughs> Shulk sounds like an Animal Crossing character. Oh. <laughs> or a Pokemon or something. Shulk, I'm not, I'm not I gonna lie. You. I did make She Hulk in my Sims. Really? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. She just floats. I don't even play as her. She just floats around in the background. She's like oh, the best lawyer. Oh, right. <laughs> Shulk is a character in uh, Xenoblade and like Smash Bros and stuff. Ah, oh, there you go. It all comes together now. <laughs> the grand conspiracy unfolds. Oh yes, this was the plot the whole time behind She Hulk. I mean, <laughs> I look. I Xenoblade. I'm genuinely not watching the show. I really like it. <laughs> What she hulk, it's awesome. No, I no, here's the thing, Keen. I mean, this with the best of the, the, the best. Oh, I would, ta- I would take Katie's recommendation faster, but I, I oh. think that now on that's, my that's, birthday, I know, that. I know, <laughs> that's, that's not a dig at you, Keen. It's, it's just that you are, you are very wonderful, and you, you are, you try to see the best in everything, you do, and that's the thing. And I know Katie has the same cold heart like I do. <laughs> That hates everything. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm very cynical, as you know. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so I, I know I'm like, you know, I know where it's coming from. But with you, Keen, you always see the rays of sunshine and everything. No, but think. like I, but look, I mean, like if something was weak sauce or like it didn't appeal to me, I'd say it without slagging it off. But I genuinely like the the sort of half an hour irreverence. Like I feel like you're getting more out of your MCU-ness from She-Hulk than you are out well, of the other ones because you, saw- it's just so... Like it's almost like flipping through a comic book and seeing all the fun things, you know. So I saw you a know. meme. I saw a meme that I'm gonna post on our on our social media, guys. Our social media was a bit of a train wreck for a while. Now it's not. If you go to nerdtonomedia.com, everything is there. It's it's great. Did I mention I'm in charge of the social media? <laughs> no, these no. digs on my birthday are no. coming hard and fast. No, I meant I meant the links. To the social media, not to, the social media. To be though. fair, I used social to be in charge great. of the Instagram, and I kind of just faded yeah, out of that. So you're not alone. Keen. The Facebook, which isn't doing anything. <laughs> like, you're, it, you're not. You're not on your own, Keen. We we kind of <laughs> we we both dropped the ball. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, that wasn't my intention. My intention was the actual links to them wasn't worried right, about all right, that right. But but it has been resolved now, and everything is kind of narrowed to media basically. But it's all everything. But anyway, yeah. I'm gonna post this right, and it was you know no you know when Homer uh, burns down the church. <laughs> yeah. and they're like this is the worst thing you've ever done so here's the meme so it's that scene from the Simpsons and it's like Homer has the MCU right Marge is Marvel fans and then it's like this is the worst thing you've ever done and Homer responds you say that so much it's lost all meaning 
<laughs> and that's going to be my reaction for any time Marvel is bad, which See, is a lot. I don't know. I feel like there's a weird little mini cycle where like a new Marvel thing comes out and everyone's excited. And then like halfway through a Disney Plus series, they kind of decide they, they don't like it and never did. And they're down <laughs> on Marvel. And then the new thing comes out and it just like... Like, I don't, I can't point to one thing and be like, oh, this is the thing that killed Marvel. It's obviously, like, it's never had a Last Jedi or, like, you know, Hold on. justice moment, you, you know, know, you where know, everyone you just know turned what, on you know, it. I, I came here for a good time, and I am genuinely feeling so attacked right now. <laughs> <laughs> I came here for a good time. <laughs> and on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> on my own birthday. Yeah. Okay, The Last Jedi... I really liked. No, I love The Last Jedi. I'm just saying culturally, there wasn't, a, there hasn't been a moment that split the Marvel fandom in half. I wasn't going after the film specifically. I meant Fair. in terms of like the trajectory of Marvel. There hasn't been a like, whoa, and then they lost half of them and they never came back type thing, you know? I don't know. I just, I think it's like superhero fatigue, to be honest with you. And I know that's been used to death by every commentator I, i've been hearing that since age of ultron yeah uh, you know I, I a lot of it is true to be fair but i mean now when you're watching it you're like it's kind of like with star wars like andor came out and i could not care less <laughs> i like that one surprise see see king that's what i mean it's <laughs> no but it's good <laughs> <laughs> on it's his like... birthday <laughs> okay so far, it's had some of the best Irish representation in Star Wars, and I'm here for that. But there Irish, is no there, Ireland in there space. There is no Ireland in space. <laughs> well, best Irish people in Star Wars. There's no Ireland. <laughs> Before no. that, Donald Gleeson was carrying the flag for the whole thing, and he was a joke. But I never saw him as Irish. I saw him as... He's an Irish effect. actor. Yeah, but he's... P- no, that's... No, I... I don't know. I don't know. I... Now all I can see he is red Ireland... head of hair on him, like I know. But now all I can see is that you know there's a planet in Star Wars where like there's someone you know raking Guinness into them, like <laughs> well, that's just more about you than anyone. about me. <laughs> or just talking about the guy, like I just <laughs> it's no. <laughs> I I no I. That doesn't know. But no. in the, Fiona Shaw's in it, and she's in, awesome. In, uh, in the, okay, so in space, would the G in Ga stand for galaxy? I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm always hes- I'm always hesitant to like pull pull Star Wars into like. It's why I don't like them putting modern politics in Star Wars or you know whatever distant Europe because they're like, it's not that. It's like trying to put in Game of Thrones. It's like it doesn't make any sense. You know, it's it's not like Star Trek, for example, when. Star Trek is supposed to be real and you're like, okay, that makes sense. And yeah, you can have your your representation there in in a way. And they do have Colominis in Star Trek as well. <laughs> but and it also has the best the best Facebook page ever, the Roddy Doyle Star Trek, best Facebook page ever. But in Star Wars, I'm like they're playing characters. And I don't really care who that character is. It still needs because then by that logic in all the empire just i know it's an allegory for for imperial england but it's like they're not actually from me <laughs> you know it's just it's a bit i have a question why is it that we all speak with british accents when exactly. we live in the middle of space and there's no britain see and the thing about it is that's galactic basic and i'm like that's the language so i'm like it, I, disney star wars needs to end <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's, it's ruining it's ruining the lore here and I'm like no nah, this is why we have we for anyone wondering why we haven't talked about the rings of power this is why because <laughs> with Star Wars I'm trying I'm trying to like because you know, keep... it's ruining Star Wars <laughs> no Disney's ruining Star Wars rings the of power, rings is, a whole of other power thing. is ruining Star Wars <laughs> 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 Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with that. Keen, that's the title of the show for this week. <laughs> the Rings of Power is ruining Star Wars. 
<laughs> but yeah, I mean that, that's why when I'm watching these shows, I'm like, right, it needs like even when the in the MCU, like there isn't a lot of Irish representation in the MCU, like at all. I don't think there's any Irish characters in the MCU, is there? Um, to Google once again. I know we have an Irish superhero at some point, but I I, I don't think it's a good one. Like um, all of the ones that are coming up have not been in the MCU. Um, Why would you give me a list of Irish characters for the MCU? Literally, none of them have been there. Yeah, no, sure. Okay, top top Irish. Well, okay. So here, here's the kind of thing that I knew would happen when you Google uh, Irish superheroes, right? Do you know who's... So there are only really three that you would actually say are Irish. The other two are... Well, the other two are Daredevil and Captain America. Is Daredevil Irish? Yeah, well, he's not Irish. He's like Irish-American. And that doesn't count. Well, see, that's what I mean. And the same as Steve Rogers. So that's what I mean. They're not Irish, Irish. Yeah. Uh, Banshee was Irish. Sean yeah. Cassidy. Shamrock. Uh, a Shamrock, yeah. Molly Fitzgerald. And Siren, Teresa Cassidy. It was probably the sister of Sean. Yeah. No, daughter yeah. of Sean Cassidy. So, I mean, there we go. Like, there's a few. And I can... Shamrock would be weird. That would be a hard sell. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> That would be a hard sell. But they would have to make some changes, I think. Well, okay. Molly was born in Ireland, the daughter of a member of the IRA. Oh, dear. yeah. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully not responsible for the death of Banshee's wife. So, I mean, it, it, she is a, a, a X-Men character, right? Mm. Shermock's powers are the result of being possessed by the souls of a thousand spirits lost in past wars. Like, look, it's a cool character. Just Shamrock is a weird name. Yeah, it's it's a bit too on the nose. Yeah, Irish. The power is cool though. She literally has the look of the Irish on her side, and and has the power of Irish ghosts. Oh, there's something a bit cringe about that. It is, but I mean, I think you could do it. It's it's kind of like a uh, domino and long shot, you know, where um, domino is just look. lucky. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it it's cool. It's very much of its time. Uh, John Romita came up with it. So is it during that run? Um, Banshee, I think, has a bit more legs to it because obviously we've seen Banshee in the MCU. Not in the it's, MCU. It's weird the though that it's a guy named Banshee. Yeah, and not Sean Cassidy. Yeah. Um, I mean, because Banshee literally has the word ban in it, which means woman. <laughs> yeah, the ban on she. Yeah, it's. But then again, I mean, you have to give them a bit of leeway with that. I don't think they. No, I'm they not. They broke gonna. down the Gaelic. <laughs> no, they're not getting any leeway <laughs> on that it. one. <laughs> Are we still I mean, on the, the, the sci fi Irish? Yeah. No, we're, we're talking about uh, the X Men uh, characters. X Men, Irish X Men. X Men, Irish characters. I think, I think the X Men is generally the best for Irish representation. Well, Keena, a small thing to say for so Keena, comics book. So, Keena, have an, so, one, the title of this show uh, this week is. Uh, the Ring of Power, the Rings of Power are ruining Star Wars. That's the title. Of this, of the Ring of show. Power oh, ruining Star Wars. Is this because of the Irish people in the Rings of Power? Wait a second. We have had some Irish uh, in the MCU because we had Banshee in X Men First Class. That's yeah, what I'm saying. He wasn't Irish, was he? Well, he better have been. I don't know. What do you mean he better have been? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> well, here's the thing, right? There'll be so, words. So there's an article here from therealstanley.com. So Keen, again, and this is for, you know, for for you, for our benefit and the listeners' benefit the, rather than yours. Um, so there's five Irish superheroes, right? Uh, right. I'm going to tell you three of them and you have to guess who the other two are. Shamrock, okay. Siren, and Banshee. Guess who... The two, the two are they're big. The other Irish ones, yeah. I, well, not a superhero, but wasn't uh, Black Tom Cassidy Irish, the villain in the X Men? No, these are bigger. These are like uh, these are. Now, like is this in, big. just Marvel or is this Marvel and DC? Just Marvel. Okay, so I think Black was like, was Black Canary Irish. Uh, 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 you'll never get it because they. Oh, uh, Daredevil is like third generation Irish or something. You got one. Like you got one. You got one. Okay, I'll yeah. give it you. I'll give you the other one. Right. Yeah. Captain America. Oh, that's like kind of Bronx again. Bronx, third generation. Yeah. But even yeah. that speaks to like the lack of. Yeah. Like, not that I'm going to complain about Irish representation at length, but I'm just saying I did notice this. You know. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. It's it's funny that it's still not. 
that was just there's no representation. Like, like there, there really isn't in the MCU and in comics. You think just by general. sheer probability by now, well, look, it'd be like again, you can say, oh, you know, Irish American through Daredevil, and a lot of Irishness went through the Daredevil run. But there is no real Irish super like Shamrock, and we were going through the character list when you're awakening. Mm. I mean, she's a cool character, but even the origin, you know, she was born in Ireland, uh, the daughter of a member of the IRA, and it's just hitting like all those beats, hitting all those beats, and you're like, oh, this is, you know, but her power. I are mean, cool. yes, it is a bit of a poison chalice because if you got more, it'd be like that, wouldn't it? But here's the thing: her powers are cool, right? Now the name is is ropey as all hell. I changed that, mm. but her powers are literally look, and she's able to use the spirits of uh, ghosts of Irish ghosts. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool but wasn't uh, didn't stan lee do a show called lucky man which was like the same premise maybe well i also I domino know. domino yeah domino, domino as well. yeah yeah but i i think they're pretty cool but like i i don't think we'll be seeing shamrock in the mcu anytime soon which is unfortunate see again to go back to she hulk though shamrock is exactly the type of character who would breeze in for an episode like the last episode i saw of she hulk had mr immortal from the great lakes avengers in it which is a comic that no one has read except for me. Uh, it, <laughs> except it's a, for it's me. Sort of backdoor origin of Squirrel Girl, which is much more famous. So, like, you never know. That's like, true. there's a platform for these kind of characters to pop up. And I look, if that's if that justifies She Hulk, then I I withdraw my uh, my snarky comments, Kane. <laughs> you know, I, I when the world needs more people like you who can see the upside in things rather than. This the cynic that's like me, because <laughs> you know me. I'm a Star Wars fan and I hate Star Wars. So yeah. I liked Andor. I I like the slow build. Like I'm, I'm glad they released the first three episodes all together. But I, I, I like that there were entire sections without any noticeable English language. I like that alienness to it. I like there's no stormtroopers in it. All that now kind of stuff. Now yeah. you've lost me. What do you mean? Because <laughs> I like the stormtroopers. Yeah, I know, but there's so much of Stormtroopers already. I like new. New is good. No, I need more I mean, yeah, I can no, I can kind of I can see both sides of it because like yes, the stormtroopers are so iconic that it, it feels weird to not have them, but at the same time, like Star Wars is such a vast, I mean, it's a whole universe. Mm. full of potential planets aliens customs all that kind of stuff that yeah, yeah. why not show some other sides of that that isn't just well, like jedis and stormtroopers well did you hear the the, the good news well he did because i sent it to you in our group chat um mm. so news broke this week and this is what we've been saying Keen, for nine tr- two and a half years if not three years at this point mm. um they're going to retcon star wars what? all of it not all of it but uh, they are going to do a new trilogy a a midquel if that's a thing between after jedi but before the war i i'm not surprised because they've been building that up in the mandalorian and stuff for a while the whole thrawn yeah it's it's going to be built on basically the mandalorian so that's the that's the the way they're going to kind of fix star wars (laughs) through the mandalorian which i mean it's the only way you can fix that franchise yeah you know you can can dance around it but you still need to address i mean mando is doing so well they would be very silly not to capitalize on that so the the plan here and again take this with a grain of salt but it does look like this is this is the way it's going to be um it's going to be a story a couple of years like probably after mando but in and around that and it probably will bring in tron or whatever but um my hope here is that it does actually fix everything i don't know see like the first line of episode seven was something along the lines of this will start to fix everything and i feel like if star wars gets in the habit of like apologizing for itself and then going no this is the new thing every five years like the entire integrity of it will just fall apart you well, know so, well it hasn't got any integrity but, <laughs> and, no that that's a fair point yeah like you know stuff happens and like okay maybe it didn't get the reception you wanted it didn't get the fan following you wanted just do another story like you don't well, have to retcon everything every mm. time well that's fair i mean that is a fair point too that is a fair point too and i i've always said though well, Katie, I'm starting to agree with you well, that you said that the future Star Wars is on Disney Plus, and I do think you're right on that. Mm. Um, like, I really do. You, you, you are right on that. Like, the, the best part of Star Wars was never in the movies; it was always everything else. Yeah. Um, but I, 
the safest bet here with Star Wars, and I realized that I realized this reading the books when I was when I was a teenager, that everything after Jedi is very boring, particularly <laughs> when, when, when it involves Luke, because you're like his story's kind of over. The best part of Star Wars was all was the stuff like you know, as you said, the new cultures, the the characters, the Mandalorian stuff, and that's kind of what they're doing now in that show. The best thing they could do is set stuff miles in the past. Yeah. But that's what I like about Andor, though. And it's so far good. removed from the action. It You're feels right, yeah. more like Blade Runner than Star Wars, you know? Okay, maybe you've talked you talk me around to it, Kane. Yeah, mm. no, I, yeah, I, I talk want... To it now. Uh, and I've been saying... You said the right thing. You said <laughs> the right thing. <laughs> Certainly at least the first 10 minutes is very Blade Runner 2049, you know? Oh, okay, I'll have to check it out then. Like very I'm still not over like... what they did to Batista in that. They did him dirty. They did. They did. He, he is an actor who got paid very well and did an acting job well. He's fine. Yeah, but if, if Batista's going to be in a movie, I want him to be in the movie. But he was in the movie. Yeah, but no, no. <laughs> but just, no. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not going to agree. <laughs> I'm very upset. <laughs> but would the movie have been better with zero Batista? That's a good point. Oh, don't do that to me, man. Yeah, oh. I, mean, I mean, at least he got some Batista. Every yeah, every movie. Should I mean, have he was one of the most crucial parts, even though it was a short part. You know, yeah. except, except for that one movie, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like zombies or something in Vegas. Oh, that's Batista. a that's a that's a good flick, though. It's really not. I don't know. I I I enjoy it. And that's coming from me. But that wasn't that the one where the zombies had like a hierarchy and, and yeah, a princess it, it, it's and it proper was proper slock like. It was it was just no. No. <laughs> it was no. <laughs> it was just no. Is this it's still about Dave Batista? Yeah. He's yeah. in it, yeah. It, yeah it, he's it's, in it. Okay, for context, it's made by Zack Snyder. Yeah, that explains it. And it's exa- it's, it's oh, a- is this the one that came out a year or two ago? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I thought you were talking about something from like pre Guardians of the Galaxy or something. No, no, this is a train wreck. Army of the Dead is that what it was? Army called? of the Dead, that's the one. So here, yeah. the first appearance of uh, Shamrock is in a character called Marvel Superhero Contest of Champions number one in 1982, and I'm now buying it on Amazon on eBay. <laughs> I need her first appearance. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's only like a, like a tenor, like it's not bad. We perform a public service here at Nerd to Know Media. We do, <laughs> even if it's just to supply Dara with comics. I, I I'll hold out hope for Captain Ireland. There's been a Captain Britain. Captain Ireland. Captain Ireland. It's a joke. I almost every cosplay contest I go to, someone creates a unique Captain Ireland uh, costume with the Irish flag on the shield and like the greens and oranges. And it always looks great. What does he show up and promise people people metros that never get built? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the birdie yeah, ball, like... the birdie ball, Dara. <laughs> the, the birdie, the, the, does he uh, want to do inquiries all the time? Actually, it mostly be... it's women. Okay, fair. No, I I can't make. Now it's not fun, Kane. <laughs> yeah, you've ruined it. No, Keen. you've ruined it. <laughs> Seriously, let's follow this thought experiment to its logical conclusion. Because Captain America, Steve Rogers, retired in protest to Watergate. You right. could have a Captain Ireland that was very much against the state or something, you know? Cap- well, Captain Wrath. <laughs> now there's a character. <laughs> there's a ca- well, I mean, that's Shamrock. Captain Wrath. <laughs> Mind <laughs> you, that could also sound Egyptian, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? There are a lot of Irish uh, creators doing Marvel books. I don't know why they haven't gone. They said, listen, lads, we have an idea. Just let them do it, Captain Guinness. <laughs> Captain Guinness, the oh man, that right. You've lost me. Unless it's actually a token, you've lost me. Okay, how about this? How about there's a there's like the Irish Avengers, right? And you have. Uh, Cap- I'm, I'm interested. Okay, right. So you have Shamrock being. What the are they leader. called? The Returners. No, no, no. no the they're Irish called Avengers. The Ra- <laughs> <laughs> no, you have the Irish Avengers, right? And they're they're, they're you know. They're, but they're in like an office in Dublin. The right? Avengers. Hold the, on. The Irish on. Republican Avengers. No, hold on. No, no, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. But the Irish Avengers, right? Because that was sell. Okay. And they're in Dublin and they're they're in one of the tech offices where Meta is or something, right? 
right yeah. but only yeah. one of the avengers is from dublin and they're like no. the tony stark type because they have notions yeah no yeah and that's and that's shamrock right she's from right. dublin so retcon her to be a dub right <laughs> and everyone else is from different parts of dublin and the conflict is that th- that yeah they they're all like make, taking the, the making fun of her because she has notions about buying this office She's from like Black Rock or Fox Rock. It would or be hilarious. It would oh, be totally. Hilarious. Rugby player. It would be hilarious, right? But the thing of it is, they don't actually like fight criminals because there's no superheroes in Ireland, right? That's the joke. Nothing ever happens in Ireland. <laughs> so they're just looking and they're like, oh man, what's going on? Oh, well. I, I write this. I, just, it would be great. They're just it, sitting around like drinking cups of. You know, yeah. lion's tea, and there has there has and to be an artist or an art student from Galway as well. And and they're complaining about the price of chicken filler rolls going up, and the <laughs> only one who could afford it is Shamrock because she has notions. I mean, it'd be incredible. Like, I can't believe no one has. By the way, patent pending, patent pending, patent pending. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I can't believe nobody has like written that yet because it's it that would be fun. I I would. Read well, so that. you need to build up your universe. So you need to have a superhero in each county. Yeah, and then, and then come like, together. once we get the best villain out of those bunch, we can sort of get them all together. And they see, there is no villain. That, or something. There is no villain. That's the joke. Like they have literally nothing to do. They're just sitting around waiting for it. And then the one time there was a villain, it was a, it was like a false alarm. So <laughs> I w- I would write you kind of the way um what's that show called? Freakazoid was written, where he just like he just shows up and annoys people to like until they give up. I like there's like a, a a robbery in the GPO or something, and they show up, and then he just annoys them until they stop. <laughs> oh, see, that's where you and I differ. I would go down the route of like fighting like societal injustices and like encountering watchmen like obstacles, and just the fact that the cool. setting is would make it kind of like the boys make it funny by how absurd it would be, you know. See, I, that's I, why you need a team of writers to exactly. balance out all the extremes. Exactly, but that's why I think there there is like a room for it. But like, and even in Irish comics in general, like yeah, there are there are some really good Irish comics. And actually, um, we're gonna have one on the show soon. Oh but, uh, yeah, uh, so there we go. That's a that's an exclusive for everybody. You should listen. really have, run these things. Teaser, by me. teaser. Yeah, I haven't even told these guys yet, folks. So you know, <laughs> we're gonna have and one on, on the show. my birthday. Tell, that's the present, King. <laughs> oh, that's I see. The present. So how so happy birthday? Well, actually, it's worth pointing out there is a yeah, there is an incredibly big community of like comic book writers and yeah. illustrators and creators in Dublin, as well as goes hand in hand with the huge like animation sector that is in Dublin as well. Like, but I mean, you know. even, but even uh, like the what, Jody and um, something Snidey, I can't remember his first name. So they're a couple anyway, and they work on they worked on Daredevil, they worked on the X Men. He worked in the Avengers, but he also worked on Moon Knight. So, oh. uh, M- Mr. Moon Knight, you know, the, the yes, one where he was. Yes, the original so... artist of that was at Comic Con, wasn't he? Yeah, they're yeah. Irish. I think uh, Declan Slamby, that's his name. Um, he, they're Irish and they live in Ireland. I've met them two or three times. Um, they're always in the Big Bang. Like, um, but yeah, like they work with Marvel and they've been responsible for a lot of these big characters that we we would be used to now mm. and it's just it's it'd be interesting to see how they go into it but it's like irish comics focus on different things but to, to my knowledge again i could be correct on this there are no superhero type irish characters and i think that would be a cool thing to do written by irish people because i mean that's i'm the, here that's the i mean we, we kind and- of on that note, I'm going to be the bad guy and cut you off. Oh, there we go. Because oh my god, I mean, we could fill another hour with this kind of stuff. We're gonna have to pick this up next week. I, we are, I, I blame yeah. Coolio for dying for us not finishing this concept. You know blame what we should, you know, you know what we're, know what we're going to do? We're going he could have been a, in this team. <laughs> we're going to run a panel right at some point where it's going to be Nerd Snow Media design a comic book character or comic book team. I, even if we don't oh, use it, do. I'm just copywriting the Ravengers now. <laughs> so in case someone else thinks of it. Again, all this was patent pen, folks. So don't be stealing. Because if you see this, we're going to... up the Ravengers just rolls off the tongue, oh you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> there uh, they are, up there. Up the, and they're just standing there. I mean, because... and, and on that note, is there, anything, <laughs> is there anything that you guys... Would like to plug before. No, we I, I'm just glad to be the controversial one on my birthday. You're just gonna plug the Ravengers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm glad this isn't me. This is the thing. I guess, is this what it's like for you? <laughs> we can't. We're like, oh my god, shut up there. <laughs> what yeah, are you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh yeah, actually, I will plug something. I'll plug Doctor Who. Last time 
I was complaining that there was absolutely no marketing for Jodie Whittaker's Regeneration episode coming out in a month. Right. They have released a picture and the episode's name. Oh. That's all. That's all you got. It's, we, don't, we don't even have a time and a date yet. It's on in a month. Well, see, that's why you need to find that out because it's timey whiny, wibbly wobbly. I know, but I shouldn't have to work this hard to watch a product. It seems like that's like the the mo of that show, Kane. <laughs> like I, I, find, I honestly feel like I'd have an easier time finding like Batwoman at this rate. You have to earn your Doctor Who. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're a fan, are you? <laughs> name six episodes. <laughs> oh God, I can name six hundred. Give me time. <laughs> But, oh, what about you Tara so so I have been on a journey ladies and gentlemen and uh, the journey was to find a coffee thermos that doesn't leak <laughs> <laughs> I'm deadly serious and it, it, it has driven me to to the brinks of madness um, to try and find one because I like coffee more than most people uh, I like coffee a lot it's a problem a serious problem and um, I'm like right I bring coffee with me. I buy it when I'm out. But I drink Americanos, right? Because it's easy and, you know, whatever. And I would take a thermos with me and I would bring it in the car, on the bus, walking on the road, blah, 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 and put it in my bag. And then it would leak everywhere. And then I'd be sad. And then I would get over the sadness and be upset. And, uh, and this it, is an issue of the new Ravengers, by the way. This is so, the kind of high stakes. This is it, right? So I was I was like eventually just fed up with this and I got my my thermos I had and I threw it in the bin because I was so frustrated. I'm like, no, this is ending now, right? So I Googled non-leaking thermoses, right? And I found this company uh, called Mir, right? So M-I-I-R, right? And they're from the States and they have thermos that don't leak. You can throw them off buildings and stuff that they don't leak. I was like, great. Okay, I'll go buy one. And I had to go buy one. And the delivery to Ireland was something like 120 bucks. Right. I'm like, yeah, no way. So I, I emailed the company. I was like, hey, look, it's 120 bucks to, to buy in. What's the story? And again, we're not sponsored by them, but they were super nice. And they said, hey, we have a supplier in the UK. And uh, yeah, it's uh, workshopcoffee.com. That's the the website that they sent me to and they were super nice again we're not sponsored but i I, that was a lovely uh a a lovely bit of customer service the product hasn't arrived yet but i am finally happy that i will be able to carry coffee with me anywhere i go and it will not leak and if it does leak i'll come on and be like they lied to me but i don't think they did (laughs) i was gonna say yeah check back here to see the stunning conclusion to this epic watch this space exactly so i mean you know we had the cinema saga. Now we have this saga. And I think it's, you know, as Keen said, this is the, the high stake uh, first world problem <laughs> that, 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 that the Raw Avengers will be dealing with. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Mirror, Captain Coffee. What's it? Uh, workshopcoffee.com is the place. And I mean, you know, they're in London. Um, so they do coffee. Like if you're a big coffee person, they do lots of stuff there. But Mirror Drinkware, I'm very, very much excited to getting the coffee and immediately turning it upside down and shaking it, which is probably a bad idea, but you know, do it with water. <laughs> I'm going to do it with water. Science, science demands that we test this out. Sconce. Sconce. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Again, we're not sponsored folks, but um, you know, there we go. If they want to, absolutely. We would take money for anything. Oh we yeah. Have, we have no morals. <laughs> no bars too low. Well, no I mean, bars we have morals, but we're also we hungry. This is fair. This is fair. Yeah. Raid Shadow Legends. Well, you know, we're all here. We're ready to go. <laughs> don't worry. Hey, don't knock Raid Shadow Legends. They have Jeff Goldblum. I've never played Raid Shadow Legends. I'll be no, neither have I. But they have Jeff Goldblum. Fair, fair. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> but there we go. That's all I have this week. Perfect. And on that note, we have been Nerd to Know Basis from Nerd to Know Media on Phoenix 92.5 FM. You can find us on nerdtoknowmedia.com and social media and all the good stuff. And we will see you next week. Bye. 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 Happy birthday to So you're listening to the podcast, you're like, hey, I'm not in Ireland, how do I get in touch? Well, TuneIn has you covered. That's how you can check us out live when we're on the radio. Um, You go to TuneIn and download the app, or you can check out the live streams on nerdstonemedia.com or phoenix92.5 FM. If you want to get in contact with us, it's very easy. 
Nerd to Know Media everywhere. Nerd to Know Media on Twitter. Nerd to Know Media Instagram. Nerd to Know Media on Twitch. Nerd to Know Media at gmail.com if you want to reach out via email. Hope to hear from you soon. Check out the Wrestling Rewind here on Phoenix 92.5 FM every Tuesday at 8pm to 9pm. And of course, over on NerdToKnowMedia.com, the only wrestling podcast by wrestling fans who don't hate wrestling. We'll see you then. Hey, Dara, what are you doing over there in Ireland? Like with the freaking leprechauns and everything. That's not cool. You should be over there with the God players. At least then you could, like, I don't know, pretend like you got, I don't know, some kind of thing going on. Yeah, with that. Uh, you give me a Brooklyn Blade. Yeah, with ya. Dick, Dara. Dara? I love it. All I do is just believe in the heart of the cards, and then I can... Thank you for listening to a Nerd to Know Media production. 